What's good everybody and welcome back. So real quick as you can see from the opening screens here, these are the messages I received on the PlayStation Network from that guy Richard that I was telling you about in the previous video. One of my subs had just asked me today why I hadn't put a video up. I had attempted to make a couple videos and you know I was going to talk about this situation and uh, I kind of went off the deep end. You know I didn't think I should post them on my channel so more or less it wasn't the lack of me you know putting the effort in to make a video it's just that Every time I went to make a video, I wanted to show you guys these messages because I know a couple people were interested in seeing them. And sure as shit, every time I began to talk about them, I went off the deep end and, you know, I said some shit that I shouldn't say. But anyways, I thought I'd post a screenshot so you guys could see what it was he was talking about for those of you that were interested. But anyways, moving along here. Today's gameplay, as you can see, is Drop Zone gameplay. It takes place on the map mission. Uh, we beat these kids up pretty bad. As you'll see from the opening scenes, we do a pretty good job, me and my team. I'm holding down the first capture area. Here is late, man. I've been running with such a stacked team when we play drop zone that we tend to try to hold the first capture area, maybe the second one for a little bit. Run the score up close to 7,000, then uh, we'll run around the map, proceed to slay them. Unfortunately, as you can see from the length of the video, we don't run around and slay them. We run the score up and just proceed to kick their ass and finish them off. Anyways, while in the process of holding down the first drop zone, I get an Air Osprey Gunner. You'll notice in the video I don't call it in right away while we're on the first capture point. I'm too exposed up there. I wait for the capture point to move. I drop down off the cliff, then proceed to call it in. You'll see shortly after I call it in, the host rage quits. I guess the host didn't have a stinger missile class set up, which is uh, kind of amazing to me. Most people who I play with, if you call in any type of air support, you know, it gets shot down. So real quick before I move on, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about the gameplay. I believe we crush these guys 7,500 to 140 is the final score. You'll notice in the video most of my kills come from the Osprey Gunner. I get a few in the beginning opening scenes, but most of my kills come from the Osprey Gunner. I believe I finished this up 22-0, and 0 and I'm second on the leaderboard, which isn't too bad, considering that I only was on the one capture spot in the beginning. So real quick, I'll tell you guys what I've been up to here as a late. Some of you may have been following my live comm series, so you know I was doing a series of live comms for a while there. And while I was doing the live comms, I had to play without any volume because I had my headset sitting on like a hook so that I could speak into the microphone. I'm actually waiting on a bit of money to come back from the tax returns. I've been looking into microphones. I have two microphones that I'm kind of torn between. The two microphones I'm checking out, one is the blue snowball mic and the other is the blue Yeti microphone. I'm kind of torn on whether or not to get a mic to be honest. Um, I don't know how many of you guys were actually following the Livecom series uh, or enjoying the Livecom series and possibly wanted to see more of it. Uh, if you watch this video and it's not too much, leave a comment below if you would like to see me do more live comms here in the future. I really don't want to invest the money in a microphone if uh, people aren't going to follow the live comms and that's not what they enjoy. If you guys enjoy these kind of like voiceover after the gameplay is over type commentaries, let me know. Or if you'd rather see me do live comms, you know, hear the rage and shit come out, uh, you know, leave a comment, let me know that way. If uh, I decide to do the live comms, I'm kind of torn between the two microphones. I know people say the blue snowball's good. Other people say the blue Yeti's good. If you've used either one of the microphones and you have any feedback, you know, on which microphone is better and which one overall I get more bang out of my buck for, uh, drop a comment below and let me know. But this gameplay slowly winding down. So like I said, if it's not too much, let me know if you enjoy the live comms series. If you've uh, used either the blue snowball or the blue Yeti microphone, let me know which one you prefer. Like I said, the gameplay is winding down. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to stay tuned. This has been Too Cold, and I'm out. Peace.